So yeah, yes, last week and the week before, I was making journals for potential new mem members, and I just wanted to remind everybody about the journals. Um, some of them have been, some of them I had been working on previously, and I'm now incorporating Ida Trash. Some of them I made during Ida, I started during Ida uh, recovery, and um, I'm continuing with them, trying to incorporate as, as much trash as possible into the journal so that it doesn't go into the landfill. Anyway, um, this uh, format, I did not make up this format. This is, I believe it's called the Infinity Journal, and I made this out of trash paper. So it's handmade, it's, it's, it's delicate, but it's, you could still use it as a journal. And obviously, when you get this journal, one thing that you do is you start to make it your own, and perhaps you would reinforce it with um, some other kind of stitching. You see, this is very simple stitching, but I will just go through this journal and show you. This is one of the journals that I'm giving away to folks that become new members or to folks that up upgrade their membership. Uh, that is also a possibility as that has happened with um, one of the members. Okay, Alice Guy Blanchet, I'm probably not pronouncing that right, from Guy. Uh, she's the first narrative film director, not the first female, but the first ever narrative film director. And uh, this is called, um, I think, an infinity journal because it, it, it seems to go on for in infinity even though it's a small journal. So um, I hand painted these, that's one, two. So I hand painted these and I did some detail in pen. And honestly, the longer I keep these journals, sometimes I just work on them uh, just to relieve stress. I know that sounds crazy, but yeah, that's that's what happens. This is a very thick part of the journal, and um, and then after the thick part, there's this little secret envelope that I put some bits of paper in um, for collaging, because these journals are really meant for, they're just uh, like, you know, a blueprint, not even a blueprint, uh, that's not what I'm thinking, it's not a blueprint, but just like a structure without, with the drywalls, or without the drywalls, I don't know. Um, so this is um, uh, some um, jelly printing, mono printing that I did. I incorporate those things into the journals. Here's some stamping. This is all original, uh, I guess, just playing around with this. And honestly, um, at the end of this, I'm going to show you how I would use a journal like this because I'm using one like this right now, not an infinity journal, but one that is painted with these pages like this. So this is sort of a middle bit. You see how it's constructed and held together. And I think I even just tied it so that you could untie it and put more pages in it if you want some people do that these are just plain pages so that's nice these are then again we're back so then we're to the end and you're like oh that's the end of the journal but no you flip it open and look at all these extra pages so these are all just blank pages waiting for you to create on them and then you get a big thick page and then there's more blank pages waiting for you to create on them uh, look at all these great pages so it's really got a lot of pages and then we flip and we're back here and then we start again so i think that's why they call it an infinity journal i didn't i didn't call it that so this is all made from trash um and it's just designed to like sort of get you in there um get you started on just journaling and art journaling and again at the end of this i'm going to show you show you what uh what i'm doing uh, recently now i'm going to show you just a couple of journals that i've been working on for this project again this one makes me a little bit sad because I caught this, This I did not make this journal, I caught this journal at Muse's Parade, and I want to say it was in, was it in 2020? Or it could have been in 2019, I'm really not sure, um, because I caught some in 2020 and I caught some in 2019. So if you don't know what, Muses, what the Muse's crew of Muse's is, then um, go ahead and look it up. It's just an all-woman, all-female um, uh, crew from Mardi Gras. But anyway, they throw some amazing throws and they throw throughout these they throw out these books. So I did the same thing where just painting all these pages. You will notice like a theme here, just a lot of painted pages. These uh, pages actually are um, gel plates. So and I think maybe I even pulled some of these when uh, on camera. Uh, and I might have even painted some of this when I was on camera for the uh, for my membership. Um, I do uh, on on camera creating for the membership. Um, for the membership only. So and then here's some uh, flowers that I did. Um, and so I would uh, again I keep working on these, and there are also blank pages in these, but I keep working on these, and um, as I work on them, they change, they morph, I, they may become my own journals, or they may uh, go to someone else. Now, this is something interesting. Um, my mom ha gave me this planner. It's her 2016 planner, and she wanted me to use this as a structure for one of my books, so I started to uh, write in it, and I am not <laughs> giving this one away because it's my mom's, so I would definitely be using this, or I would be giving it to one member of uh, our family uh, to hold this, and what my mom did is she went through and she blacked out all of the stuff that she, you know, that was private or that she didn't want uh, anybody to know, and then she just left the other things in like here she took Mary Beth to the hospital and um, so I started to make a book out of this and I just love it it makes me feel really close to my mom and um, it kind of gives me a peek into what her life was like on October uh, 3rd 2016 so um, anyway I like I said I'm not giving this one away but this is something that I would do for someone else uh, so if this someone else had a planner or had some kind of thing uh, I would um, I would go ahead and uh, and um, 
decorate it <laughs> for them. I guess that's <laughs> that's what you call what, what I would do. So anyway, that's that. Then this is like a big old, big old, lots and lots of pages in this one. So if you're like prolific and you use a lot of pages, this is definitely the one for you. Um, I have an I put an original drawing in here. So to kind of show you like how you can use these the shapes in these particular it, 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 use the shapes in these abstract images to, to make a scene. So it's just really simple stuff. I think this is a yeah. This is one of the gel plates that I may have pulled even on camera. So this goes on like this. There's a lot of also blank pages in this one. Um, there's a lot of pages that are still kind of glued together. Ooh, this one's black. No, that's green. Um, so yeah, this is um, really lots and lots of pages and lots of colorful pages as well. Yeah, as you see, it's kind of fun to pull them apart, you know, carefully I'm not doing that. This one reminds me of a pink waterfall. I don't know why, but you know, you get the idea. So um, anyway, uh, yeah. That's the next one. And then, oh, I didn't even look at this one before filming, so I don't even know what this one looks like. Uh, and I think my mom gave me this, or I may have gotten this at Family Doll uh, uh, Dollar Tree for a dollar. So this just has some exercises in it. So like, for example, I just scribbled with a bunch of different color markers, and I kind of like it. And so then it maybe invites you to do the same on the next page. So there's a lot of pages in this one too. Oh my goodness, a lot of pages. Where? Okay, I see what I did. I know what I did. I started in the middle, I think, um, with the color. And this one, I was, yeah, I was doing a little differently where I was trying to leave the outside ones. Um, after I did the initial, I was trying to leave the outside ones with nothing on them so that you could fill it. Black. I love doing whole pages in black. And then I love how it, like, you know, bleeds over onto the other pages. I mean, I just had so much fun with these. Um, and I probably will get the paints out at some point and keep going with these depending on how many we give away. Well, if we get, if we give away, if we have more members than I have, then I'll be creating more of these, um, you know, in the evenings and the early mornings. It's the early mornings that I do these, these videos. Oh yeah, there's some drawings that I do. So it's just, um, yeah. So again, these are giveaways to new members or if you wanted to, you know, up, update, uh, update, upgrade, <laughs> upgrade your membership, um, then, you know, to something higher then you might get, you know, one of, one of these. So satisfied doing those. I'm gonna leave those anyway. That's the next one, and then this one's very similar. This is just, oh no, this is another um, yeah, this is another of my mom's uh, you know journal. So an idea of this one is kind of still like I said, will go to a family member because of the significance that it's my mom's you know journal. She didn't put a lot of stuff in this one. I don't know. This was yeah. It looks like she basically you know ripped everything out. Okay, and then the last one in this category. Yeah. So, oh, this is really, this one I was experimenting with uh, oil pastels. Mm -hmm. This one just blue, it looks like just gray. Uh, got some gel plates in here, um, just some painted pages. So this one is a short, shorter and larger. And I think these are sketch paper, but you see they take paint really well as well. I didn't try watercolors on them, but I feel like, you know, it's there. It's a thick paper as opposed to some of the other sort of notebook style, which aren't, which isn't thick. And then the big ones. These are eight and a half by 11 inches. I hope they all fit into here. So yeah, these are just big boys and it's this kind of stuff. So um, this is again, the beginning. So these can be customized at the commissioner level. Um, I have customized quite a few of these for people where I lay down paint and, they, and I interview them and I talk to them about what's important to them. And then I um, make these, we make these customized journals. <clears throat> so this one is uh, invites the user to do mandala. So this is very, uh, you know, segmented with the compass, and this one is freehand. Uh, these are more gel plates. Uh, anyway, that goes on. And <coughs> excuse me, living in a swamp. We've got another one at this level. Oh yes. So, yeah. There are some times when I'm like, am I uh, going to keep the original or not? And uh, yeah, that's the question about this book is I may keep some of these originals, especially this one. You've seen this one before. <coughs> oh, you guys, <coughs> ever since I got back from Sweden, it's been like this. Yeah, so this is eight and a half by 11 as well. And this is sketch paper. So uh, definitely good for pencil because what I found out is, um, especially from uh, the journal that I'm working in right now that I'm going to show you guys is that um, I didn't leave blank, I didn't leave 
enough for sketching, like blank pages enough for sketching. It was all like painted like this, um, which is great. I've had a great time with it, but I really miss doing um, the sketching. I even finished, I left a lot of these blank. Okay. All right, and then the last type that I did, I called the Dollar Tree Collection. And these are made from Dollar Tree notebooks. So, and I think I was making some of them on camera. So uh, yeah, this is a mixture of collage, and uh, this one has an envelope in it. Um, and these are some of my original uh, flower paintings. So yeah, these are. This is what I was talking about when I said I forgot to leave. I forgot to leave space. But some people really like this. Uh, some people would just take the backgrounds and photocopy them and use them in different pieces. So it's like it just really is what floats your boat. So that's Tell Us Your Dreams. Here's the butterfly one. Uh, oh yeah, this one fell apart. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So this is just going to, uh, yeah, this totally fell apart. Fine. Um, Now that I think about it now, I think I, I took it apart and I was putting it back together again in an order that I thought was more pleasing. I think that's what was going on here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this one will be put back together again if desired by anyone. Um, and the next one, I think as well, oopsie, I don't know where this is. Okay, I'm just gonna put this in there, okay. This one, I think is the same situation. Like I took it apart and then I was putting it back together again. <laughs> Yeah, you guys have seen, if you remember, my members have seen uh, some of these before. Okay, all right, and as, so that's it. Uh, for this, as promised, I am going to show you, as soon as I have a big gulp of water, um, I'm going to show you how I use these books. <laughs> 